Hello and welcome to the webinar. In this webinar, we will talk about how to study circular RNA expression and epitransitomic modifications. The circular RNAs are covalently circularized, single-stranded RNA loop, forming an unusual RNA class. Based on the sequence characteristics, circular RNAs can be classified into axonic, which contains only axon sequences, intronic, which contains only intron sequence, axon intron circular RNA, which contains both axon and intron sequences, antisense, whose strand direction is opposite to the best mRNA transcript. Many functions have been discovered for circular RNAs. Circular RNAs are well known for their microRNA binding capability as microRNA sponges to regulate silencing complex mediated gene regulation. Likewise, circular RNAs can bind RNA binding proteins as RBP sponges. There are several hundred RBPs performing variety of biological functions such as transcription, splicing, RNA processing, RNA transport, RNA localization, translation, RNA stability, and RNA modification. Over the years, circular RNAs have been found to be involved in all these RBP-related functions. Circular RNAs can also be the guiding scaffold for protein complex assembly. Many circular RNAs and protein interactions have been cataloged in circ interacton database. Although circular RNAs generally do not translate proteins due to the lack of five prime cap structure for translation initiation, some circular RNAs can be internally modified by M6A and start translating small peptides. The small peptides can well be bioactive, for example, as competitive inhibitors. Increasingly, circular RNAs are found to interact with signal molecules, such as AKT and PDK, to modulate signal transduction. One interesting circular RNA function is acting as DNA sensor switch to control secondary messenger cyclical GAMP. In the nucleus, intronic circular RNAs are tethered to RNA polymerase II and enhance transcription. Nuclear circular RNAs can also tether spliceosomes for splicing or target chromatin modifiers, for example TT1, to particular sites to program gene expression. For microRNA sponge function, SAR7 is well known. It has 33 microRNA7 bonding sites. The other well known example is a circular RNA SRY in the testes. It has 16 microRNA bonding sites. They are all known to bind microRNAs, AGO complex, and block target gene silencing. Here is another example by one of our customers showing this circular RNA having many microRNA binding sites. One question is, how common are circular RNAs being microRNA sponges? By surveying microRNA binding seed regions in the circular RNAs, all seed regions have significantly reduced the single nucleotide polymorphism or SNPs. In other words, the microRNA binding sites are conserved, indicating the microRNA sponge function is most likely quite common. In fact, now there are many circular RNAs have been experimentally confirmed to bind microRNAs. These many studies 
use micro used array star circular RNA services. Circular RNA functions are not limited to micro RNA sponges. Differentially expressed circular RNAs in myocardial infarction have been identified by array star circular RNA microarray. Among them, Circular RNA FNDC3B binds and sequestrates apoptosis tumor suppressed protein FUS1, resulting in increased VEGF levels and enhanced endothelial function in myocardial infarction. Compared with the control, the adeno associated virus AAV9 delivery of circular RNA FNDC3B therapeutically improves the post myocardial infarction recovery. In a work published in Immunity, circular RNA sear gas was identified differentially expressed between the hematopoietic stem cells and the homeostasis and under cell cycling conditions on array star circular RNA microarray. The circular RNA, CRNA, bonds to cyclic GMP AMP synthase or C gas to block the C gas interaction with DNA fragments. Without CRNA, C gas senses DNA to generate secondary messenger, cyclic GAMP which activates the production of interferon. Thus, CRNA is a potent suppressor of C-gas-mediated DNA sensing, cell homeostasis, and autoimmune response. In this example of circular RNA action in kinase and signal transduction, circular RNA and model 1 was identified as differentially expressed circular RNA between neonatal and mature cardiac tissue on array star circular RNA microarray. The circular angiomotin-like one RNA or circ RNA and model 1 interacts with the serine thrilling kinase AKT1 and pyruvate dehydrogenase kinase PDK1. This bonding leads to phosphorylations of the kinases, the nuclear transport, and enzymatic activation, which leads to reduced apoptosis and cardiac repair. Circular RNAs are associated with many human diseases, as cataloged in CIRCAD database. In this tree map, each rectangular area represents the number of circular RNAs associated with the cancer type. Circular RNAs are heavily associated with breast, liver, lung, glioblastoma, and colorectal cancers. For lung cancer diseases, many circular RNAs are associated with diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and immune or infectious diseases. Another major clinical application of circular RNAs is biomarker use. In a survey of biomarker performance matrix, some circular RNAs show very good sensitivity at a max of 0.86 and specificity at a max of 0 0.90. Quite a number of biomarkers in the pipelines have been studied for cancer indications. And as well, non-cancer indications. With their pathophysiological roles in human diseases, using circular RNAs 
the therapeutic agents or targets are now put on the agenda. There are two major camps of developing circular RNA drugs. One is to manipulate either up or down regulation of endogenous circular RNAs in the cells. To overexpress circular RNAs, recombinant RNAs can be circularized by flanking inverted repeats such as ALU. The circular RNAs expressed from a tRNA intron expression vector. The circular RNA is spliced, circularized using the bulge helix bulge BHB splicing motif, or using group 1 intron, which has self splicing ribosine activity, is used to excise and circularize permutation arranged intron axon RNA. Circular RNAs can be circularized by axon skipping. DCAS13, as in CRISPR, can be targeted by guide RNAs to the axon skipping junction sites to increase the RNA circularization. To suppress circular RNA expression, RNA interference, antisense oligo or ASO, endogenous RNAs H1 or CRISPR can be used. Additionally, CRISPR can introduce mutations or correlations to change the circular RNA properties. In vitro, circular RNAs can be circularized by enzymatic ligation of functional chemical groups. Protein coding and chemical modification have been proposed to suppress native immune response and increase stability to better pharmacokinetics. Several circular RNAs have been shown to have therapeutic efficacy in cardiovascular diseases in animal models. Published in Molecular Cancer, circular RNA from SCM polycom group protein homolog 1 was identified differentially expressed in ischemic stroke on array star circular RNA microarray. The recombinant circular RNA is produced in HEK3293 T cells, which is packaged in extracellular vesicle coated with rabies virus glycoprotein RVG and isozyme associated membrane glycoprotein LAMP2B. The neurotrophic extracellular vesicles selectively deliver the circular RNA into the brain by intravenous injection with much better safety profiles than antivirus delivery. The circular RNA treatment improves the functional recovery after stroke in mice and monkeys. The functional mechanism is that circular RNA binds to methyl CPG binding protein MECP2, which releases the CPG island methylation and activates the target genes. Now let's move on to epitranscriptomic modification of circular RNA, an important layer of circular RNA regulation, along with the express expressional regulation of circular RNA. As in mRNA, M6A, the methyl group modification at the sixth position of the adenosine is the most important internal epitranscriptomic modification of circular RNAs. M6A is installed by writers such as metal 3, metal 14. The modification is reversible by erasers such as FTO and AlkaBH5. M6A interacts with various readers to exact regulatory functions such as YTHDC1 for RNA splicing, nuclear to cytoplasmic RNA export, or by YTHDF2 
or YTHDF3 for RNA decay, or by IGFBP for RNA stabilization, or by YTHDF1, 2, 3 for mRNA translation. As shown in this M6A immunoblot, M6A is the most abundant modification in circular RNAs. The M6A bound fraction represents a larger proportion of the total input circular RNA. Among the circular RNAs, the circular RNAs made out of a single long axon are modified most frequently, even much more so then the unmodified circular RNA colored blue. Along the RNA length, M6A tends to be localized toward the upstream, whereas M6A is concentrated near the stop codon in mRNAs. The M6A modification pattern in the expressed circular RNA shows substantial cell type specificity in its Venn diagram. Functionally, M6A modification in circular RNA can be read by YTHDF3, which recruits translation pre-initiation complex to translate pro protein peptides even without a 5'N cap structure required for mRNA translation. M6A can also be read by a different reader, YTHDF2, which recruits heat-responsive protein HRSP12 and RNASP complex. So the M6A marked circular RNA is cleaved open for degradation. In the nucleus, an M6A modified circular RNA can be read by YTHDC1, which facilitates its nuclear to cytoplasmic export. The exported cytoplasmic circular RNA, ENSAM2, is read by IGF2BP2 to stabilize target HMG2 mRNA. We have now come to appreciate the biological and clinical importance of circular RNAs. An essential step to study circular RNA is to profile their expression. The fundamental difficulty of using RNA sequencing for circular RNA profiling is the low abundance of circular junction sequences for sequencing coverage. On average, circular RNAs as a population are ex expressed at about one-tenth of the average mRNA level. Out of the read sequences of a circular RNA, only the circular junction spanning fragments are accounted for circular RNAs, which is even less at about 1 40th of the average mRNA level. The sequencing does not tell other regions of the body sequences whether they are from linear or circular RNA. In fact, most circular RNA studies with deep RNA sequencing coverage could only see a few circular RNA junction reads. A couple of reads are only sufficient for detecting the presence of a circular RNA, but not nearly enough to quantify its abundance, let alone quantitative differential expression analyses. Numerically, the sequencing read counts and quantification error margin follow negative binomial distribution as shown in the orange curve. mRNA abundance at higher levels is reasonably okay with the acceptable, acceptable error margin. With the lower abundance of circular RNA junction read counts, the quantification error is so high to be acceptable. By using spiking 
reference the limit of quantification, or LOQ, that is the minimum count necessary for circular RNA junction quantification, must be greater than 300 counts. If you want to compare circular RNA differential expression between two groups or conditions, the limit of detection or ratio, or LODR, is 890 counts for a greater than two-fold change. Very few circular RNAs have the abundance levels above these limitations. In fact, by sequencing, even the same RNA sample with different sequencing library construction methods and circular RNA analysis algorithms show very low concordance and very large discrepancies as shown in these Venn diagrams. A much better way to profile circular RNA expression is by microarray. The circular junction is detected by unique probe sequence at extremely high affinity. To increase the sensitivity even higher, the RNA sample is treated with RNAs-R to remove linear RNAs but keep the circular RNAs. The sensitivity is as high as one circular RNA per cell. The data processing and analysis are straightforward without relying on specialized, complicated circular RNA junction mapping algorithms as in RNA sequencing. ArraySTAR circular RNA microarrays covers about 14,000 catalogued human, mouse, and rat circular RNAs collected from circular RNA studies and databases. The circular RNAs are analyzed with differential expression, annotated with genomic information, predicted for microRNA sponge functions, such as microRNA binding C regions, local AU, and bonding positions. This table summarizes why circular RNA microarray is the circular RNA profiling technology of choice in terms of high sensitivity, unambiguous reliability, straightforward bioinformatics analysis, no demands on computational resources, and faster turnaround time. For circular RNA, the epitranscriptomic MAC profiling should answer which circular RNAs are M6A modified. The percentage of modified versus unmodified circular RNAs or modification stoichiometry. The abundance levels of M6A modification. The differential M6A modification stoichiometry between conditions and groups differential M6A modification abundance between conditions and groups. There are two key quantities of M6A modifications of each circular RNA. One is the abundance of the M6A modified circular RNA. The other is the relative proportion of the modified versus unmodified RNA molecules for that circular RNA which is referred to as modification stoichiometry or modification percentage. For example, 20% of circular RNA modification is increased to 80% modification upon drug treatment. The practical solution is a ray star epitranscriptomic microarrays. The circular RNAs are immunoprecipitated by M6A antibody and further enriched for circular RNA by RNA-SAR treatment to remove linear RNA contamination. The unmodified 
circular RNAs in the supernatant not binding to the M6A antibody are labeled with citing 3 green color, whereas modified circular RNAs bound to the M6A antibody are labeled with citing 5 red color. Both fractions are combined and hybridized to the same microarray so that the normalized intensities in two color channels are obtained. Both the M6A circular RNA abundance and the percentage of modification are calculated. So the microarray can provide the information of what circular RNAs are modified, stoichiometry of the percentage of the modified versus unmodified circular RNA, differential modification between groups or conditions, coverage of about 14,000 catalogued circular RNAs, and there is only low RNA amount requirement at 3 micrograms. There is no need for poly A selections or ribosomal RNA removal, which is required for RNA sequencing. The microRNA data come with easy to use analysis and annotation for biologists and clinicians. In this screenshot, the circular RNA differential expression by statistical significance p values, fold change fc, normalized abundance, percentage of modification, circular RNA type, small peptide coding potential, microRNA binding sites for microRNA sponge functions, and the genomic information are analyzed and annotated. As a roadmap for research forward, the differentially expressed circular RNAs can be validated by circular RNA qPCR. These confirmed differentially expressed circular RNAs can be used for diagnostic or prognostic biomarkers, even without knowing their biological functions. To study the biological functions, overweight expression for gain of function or lockdown or lockout for loss of function are commonly used strategies. The circular RNA binding proteins can be detected by comprehensive identification of RNA binding proteins by mass spectrometry or TRIP-MS. MicroRNA sponge functions by competing endogenous RNA or CERN analysis or small peptide encoding by mass spectrometry. Likewise, the differentially methylated circular RNAs can be validated by MIRIP qPCR for intact circular RNA. To narrow down to the M6A sites in the circular RNA, fragmented MIRIP qPCR can be used. The PubMed ID for the paper describing how to do this is printed here. The functional M6A modification in circular RNAs can be studied by M6A consensus site mutation, gain of function or loss of function of M6A writers, readers, and erasers. To study the mechanisms or actions of M6A modification, you can look into site-specific M6A mutation and the effects of microRNA sequestration, circular RNA stability. RNA splicing, RNA processing, and a small peptide production. Arrays are circular RNA microarrays have been powering circular RNA research in many areas of biology and clinical sciences, becoming the leading technology platform for phenomenal research successes. In last year alone, more than a hundred papers have been published using array star circular RNA microarrays. And these
and this and this to summarize for circular RNA expressional and epitranscriptomic profiling array star circular RNA microarrays and array star circular RNA epitranscriptomic microarrays are the only practical choice I think I will stop here Thank you for your interest. Please visit our website at www.arraystart.com. Thank you and have a great day.